saddle height, there are some obvious ways when you just know you've got it. That's my bike. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm so. My poor still bike. Feeling. I'm never leaving you. You go on my bike again. No. But there are some obvious ways where you know your saddle height is wrong, just like Hank demonstrated. Yes. But in this video, we're going to talk you through some of the little tips and tricks you might want to know about to get your saddle height just right, get those minute changes in order so you can ride your bike best way possible. Right. Enough that. Let's go on with the video. Ready? Let's do it. Have you recovered? Yes. Getting the right saddle height is extremely important. Whether you're trying to win the Tour de France in the yellow jersey or you're just riding to the cafe with your mates, having the right saddle height will stop you from getting injuries, but it will also keep you comfortable and allow you to access the max amount of power you can. And, well, after all, who doesn't want that? Hey, Connor. Yeah, thanks, Hank. We have all been behind cyclists who have their saddle too high as Hank does now. And a common symptom of this is seeing their hips really rock in the seat. Now that's because they're overreaching, they're overextending and their hips are making up for that extra distance just to reach the pedals. And often you see their dominant leg overreaching more as you really try and push the power out and get what you can from the position you're in. Now this is obviously an extreme example and you can just tell by looking at someone with these symptoms that your saddle is just too high. But sometimes it's not that clear and you might not get pain instantly and it could take weeks or even months before you find out that your saddle is just too high. But having a saddle too high could cause injury. Hey Connor. Yes Hank, you are right. Knee and back pain is extremely common for us cyclists but often it does arise from having your saddle height not quite correct. If it's too high, you'll notice that your knees are really overextending and your toes are pointed as well. Plus, you'll really rock on the saddle to try and make up for that overextension, which can lead to saddle sores. So in order to show you an example of riding with a saddle height that's a little bit too high, I've put up my saddle about a centimetre. And you should see the difference, but I'll also tell you a little bit about what it feels like too. So I've put my satellite a centimetre higher than I would normally have it. Now to the untrained eye, you can't really notice a huge difference. But as you can see, I'm getting locked out when I go to six o'clock at the bottom of the pedal stroke. Now I'm so used to riding the right saddle height, but if you're not, you can even ride this for a while before realizing it. So if you think your saddle height is wrong, the best thing to do is grab an experienced friend to ride behind you and they can see if you've got the right saddle height or not. Connor, what do you think? I think you're looking a bit high. I can see your, your hips are rocking and you just look like you're really over kind of reaching. Got that, those toes are pointing quite a lot too. I think we're gonna need a stop and uh, yeah, just have a little rethink. Another less obvious way to tell that your saddle is too high is the fact that your muscles really do start to build up fatigue a bit quicker than they normally would, especially at the end of a ride where it can start to feel that you really just can't get the power out and you just don't have it in the legs. But for newbie cyclists, it really can be quite hard to figure out what saddle height to get in the first place. A lot of people tend to ride with a too low saddle. Now the problem with this is not that you're gonna get injury as you would if your saddle height was too high, but more that you just can't access the power. You can't involve your glutes, your thighs, or your calves to maximum effect, meaning, well, you're just not gonna get much better. And if I'm honest, it feels a little weird too. Connor, what do you think? I think we've gone a bit too low now. You just look like you've got more to give. You can extend those legs a little bit more. You're lacking a bit of power in this position. Right, let's rethink. Yeah, another rethink. Back to the drawing board. So when you think you've found the right sound height, you want to give it some time to settle into it. Allow your body to adapt to the new position. Every little millimetre makes a huge difference. So have a play around, and before you know it, you'll be able to access more power, and it will stop you from getting 
horrible back and knee pain. And let's be honest, no one needs that. But then, you'll be able to access all that power. Let's go. Now the important thing to remember is when you do find the right saddle height to mark it. Now you could score it on the seat post itself or put a bit of tape round. That way you know exactly where your saddle height needs to be. And another good point is to measure it from the tip of the saddle down to the center of the BB and then note it on a notebook or on your phone. That way you'll never forget exactly what your measurement is. If you are struggling to get your saddle height right after numerous trial and error attempts, we really do recommend that you seek the advice of a professional bike fitter because it is just such an important aspect of your bike fit and getting it wrong does really give you a high chance of getting injuries or those little niggles that can set your riding back. So yeah, do get this one right and invest the time to get it right. So there you have it. A few of the reasons why you want to get your saddle height absolutely perfect. Yeah, let us know in the comments though if you have any other nifty tips to help you get your saddle height right. I got it wrong once in a race I had to borrow a teammate's bike and then, yeah, that didn't, didn't go do you, want, do you want to give it a go? Go on then, I'll, go I'll on. see, see if uh, things have changed. Things have changed. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers guys, we'll see you in your next video. Yeah. Right, this can only go very badly. 100k on Hank's bike. I'm not moving. Make it to the finish. Right, I can't reach the pedals. Colour looks nice on you. Can you not actually reach? You can't. No.